Hi. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use reusable paths in an assembly file. Uh, by default, on NX, you have many reusable paths. To find this, go to reuse library on your resource bar and then open reuse examples and then standard paths. And then if you're working on inches, you might want to click on and say inch. And then uh, let's say in my case here, I want to I want a filister head screw. So I will go to screw. But then all I have under my screw option here is hex head screw. Let me see how this looks like to do that select member select and then drag and drop the option you need onto the screen which will result in a dialog box opening up here you can select the size of the screw that you need to use the length of the uh, sorry the hex head screw hex cap screw and when you're ready you can click ok this gives you a hex cap screw but then as I mentioned earlier I do not want a hex cap screw what I want is a filister head cap screw in this file to do this you would you will, you will first of all need to download uh, download your reuse file or your reuse uh, library that you want to use here I already have an extended reuse library called ANSI inch one so I will go into ANSI inch one and I'm going to go further into screw and here I have already downloaded filister head screw so I'm going to go further into it and as you can see here there are different filister head screw types what I want is filister head cap screw so this is important you need to select all the three files of your filister head cap screw so you need to select the .bmp file, the .krx file and the .prt files. Copy this and then go to the folder that you are working in and remember as much as possible you want to have all the files that you're working with in the same folder. So I'm going to drop, so these are my existing paths and I will drop the reusable paths the reusable part files in this folder as you can see i have three files associated to the same cap screw here so now that i have this filister head cap screw in the folder that i'm working with if i click on add and let's see loaded parts you should see filister head cap screw if you do not see filister head cap screw just go to open and click on filister and cap screw all right if you do this remember how we got a very nice user interface previously you will not get the same user interface if you try to open the file in this fashion that is if you click on add and then you try to add the file one way of working with this here is you can still select the uh, type of screw you want but it's not very user friendly so what I would suggest to do at this point is close this don't do this way instead uh, create a library for yourself so what I mean by this is right click so go to your reuse library right click on reuse library somewhere here uh, do not click on one of these existing folders click outside and then click on library management that's after right click and now outside click on add library and that's the folder that you're currently working in that's my folder slider crank 2 so I'm gonna click OK and I'm okay with that so it's, it just came up here which is fine I'm okay with that and I'm gonna say OK all right now I see a folder called slider crank 2 now if I expand this there's no other folders within it but then when I select slider crank 2 and if I select member select 
I will see all the part files inside slider crank. But notice this. There's also a filister head cap screw and it's a and this is a part file that's associated to these three files, right? So the .krx file, the .pit file, and the .bmp file will now help us in getting the nice user interface that we previously saw with the hex, hex cap screw. So now I just drag and drop again. And now it's much easier, much simpler for me to select what I want, the size, if I'm happy with that, and then length, and then I can click OK. And that's how we get a filter at cap screw. And then you can, of course, add more of them uh, by just copy pasting. Or you can just, you know, previously you could have just done twice of this. But anyways, the point being, you need to create a new library. And from here onwards, even if you add, so let's say I'm down this project, I realize I need a hex nut. Right, so I'm gonna go to my, you know, my extended reusable library, and I just have it as a folder here. So let's say I want, I also want a, a nut, and for some reason I want a square nut, and let's say I want a heavy square nut, right? Or let's let me just say I need a square nut. All right, Control C. I'm gonna copy this. I will paste it in my folder that I'm working with. The C. This is very important that you have all the three files associated with that part. So this quad nut, which is a reusable part, has various different kinds of uh, square nuts associated with it. So these three files need to be copied together for it to function properly when you import it here. So let me just give it a refresh. All right. So that is my square nut. Now I can also import my square nut. And I can choose a one fourth, one fourth, so it goes in. And I can use a square nut. So that's how we work with reusable library um, and adding new reusable library and then also getting different .prt files in this way. Uh, your reusable files always show up without an error because a common error in NX is when you open a reusable library, uh, sorry, when you open an assembly, the reusable parts sometimes um, don't load and it requires you to add, do a, a, you know, go to assembly load options and change the load, uh, the load path. But since we have all of these reusable parts that we are using in this assembly in the same part, in the same folder, we don't have to change this anymore. We can keep this as from folder. This is an advantage of using, having all the part files and the reusable part files in the same folder.